When you're talking about the appeal of Vampirella, you really have to take a step back and talk about the appeal of vampires in general. Really, it's sort of the, the human fascination with sex and death. Vampirella was sort of, she was born more out of the science fiction fantasy mold. So the, the early character was comic booky and campy, and then with issue 12, it, it became more gothic, and it was sort of more like the Dark Shadows stories, and Dracula actually became a character in it, and when the stories started to get more grand in their scope, that's where I come on board as a fan. I was always um, sort of drawn to vampires. I grew up watching Dark Shadows, and saw the, the Universal movie monsters, uh, the Dracula, Frankenstein, the Wolfman, the Mummy. I started out uh, reading a magazine called Famous Monsters of Filmland as a child. It instilled me with a fascination, not only in horror as a genre, but in the art of filmmaking, sort of what goes on behind the scenes. The filmmakers, the directors, the makeup artists, the creature makers. Like most kids, uh, I, it was not only the magazine, but the back pages where the ads were. And uh, I bought the Super 8 movies that you could screen on a sheet. Uh, no sound, of course, <laughs> but it was glorious watching uh, Imhotep uh, become the mummy. I also bought uh, as many of the Aurora monster models as I could get my hands on and enjoyed sort of building and painting and displaying those as a kid. I have an all-around love for all things horror. The drugstore that I bought my monthly issues from also car carried the other Warren publications, uh, Eerie, Creepy, and Vampirella. I remember I picked up a copy of uh, Vampirella sometime in the early 70s. Of course, it was the cover that reached out and grabbed me initially. Vampirella's look had more of a mod pop culture type of appeal. As she changed throughout the years, different artists sort of gave her, you know, different looks and styles. Jose Gonzalez was sort of one of the, uh, the go-to artists. His image is one of the most uh, lasting and iconic. It's the sort of image of her standing tall with her hand outstretched and a bat on her hand. My personal favorite, I have to go back to the original Warren incarnation, issue 12, when uh, Archie Goodwin started writing the stories and uh, Jose Pepe Gonzalez started illustrating it. And for me, really for most uh, fans of the, the, the vintage Vampirella, that really defined the character. Really, it's all about storytelling. At some point, I just, you know, I realized I was really interested in the character. That eternal fascination with uh, vampires and that whole mythology uh, that Vampirilla sort of rode the crest of that and uh, found herself separated from the rest of the sort of comic book femme fatales. <laughs>